stress about one of the most important factors that affected all parts of life. This subject seems very simple, but it's complicated. It's wind. As you know, there are many types of wind that uh, we have to be familiar with this. Hello everyone, my name is Estella. The wind is caused by differences in atmospheric pressure, which is uh, mainly caused by temperature difference during the day. Air above the land heats up faster than air uh, over water. Warm air over land expands and rises and heavier. Cooler air rushes uh, in to take its place, creating wind. What type of wind causes uh, turbulence? The stronger the wind speed, generally, a surface wind of 20 knots or higher is required for significant turbulence. The rougher the train and the more unstable the air, the greater will be the turbulence. How is wind measured? 8 to 10 meters above the ground on a mass with an anemometer. Pressure gradient force. This force provides initial flow and direction to the wind. The flow is from high pressure to low pressure and it is at right angles to isobars. The velocity of wind is directly proportional to pressure gradient force. Deflection force. The force that deflects the direction of the wind is called deflection force. They are deflected to the right concerning their source in the northern hemisphere and the left in the southern hemisphere. Friction force generated by surface. It is a restraining force on the flow of the wind. Friction between the air and the ground results in the northern hemisphere is backing of the wind and decrease of wind speed at the surface. In the northern hemisphere, the surface wind backs and slacks compared to the free flow wind. Over the sea, in the northern hemisphere, you expect the surface wind to back by 10 degrees compared to the gradient wind and reduce in speed by 30 degrees. During periods of cloudless weather over land in the northern hemisphere, surface wind speed tends to be highest during the mid-afternoon. Trade wind. These are known as northeast trade winds in the northern hemisphere and southeast trade winds in the southern hemisphere. Question: What are trade winds? The wind zones towards the intertropical convergence zone. Secondary or seasonal winds. These winds change their direction with the seasonal changes or periodically. Land and sea breeze. The periodically of land and sea breezes change according to day and night, and these are winds of coastal regions. Sea breeze. A pressure gradient from sea to land is created, and the wind blows from the sea to the land as the sea breeze. And the pressure gradient is from the land to the sea, and hence land breeze results. One question. Which of the following is true of a land breeze? It blows from land to water at night. Land and sea breeze. The periodically of land and sea breezes change according to day and night, and these are winds of coastal regions. The land and sea absorb and transfer heat differently. During the day, the land heats up faster and becomes warmer than the sea. Over the land, a pressure gradient from sea to land is created and the wind blows from the sea to the land as the sea breeze. In the night, the reversal of condition takes place. The pressure gradient is from the land to the sea and hence land breeze results. One question, which of the following is true of a land breeze? It blows from land to water as at night. Valley and mountain breeze. In mountains during the day, the slopes get heated up and air moves upward and the air from the valley blows up the valley to fill the resulting gap. The wind is known as the valley breeze. During the night, the slopes get cooled and the dense air descends into the valley as the mountain wind. 
The cool air from mountains draining into the valley is called catabatic wind. One question. Which type wind flows down the slope, becoming warmer and drier? Is catabatic wind. An anabatic wind is a wind which flows up a hill or mountain mainly during the day. And another one. The wind which results from the warming on the side of the valley is known as an anabatic.